Right, I just want to show another way to do a wet dry rig using the Line 6 HX Stomp. So here we have a Sur SL67 50 watt Plexi style amp with no effects loop. And sitting on top is the Purple Wind, which is just a little 5 watt amp that has a signal going into the FX return. Over here at the line six, what I've done in this particular case is guitar comes in to the wah pedal, goes through some overdrive pedals here and in to the HX stomp. Then inside the HX stomp, I have you know effects that I want in front of my amp. And the way I'm getting the signal to the amp is through a send, a left side send. So it's just a clean guitar signal coming through to this point, and this green send cable goes to the front of the sur. So that's my straight guitar sound. Then that same clean signal is getting passed through right here, 100%, right? So all the all the dry, dry through is coming, and it's now hitting a bright plexi channel inside the line six. I put a little splitter in here, and a return that has nothing coming into it, right? But I have a mix at 100%. And what's, what that's doing is it's stopping the dry signal of my guitar from hitting the output here and creating some weird, weird effects, okay? Then the, the dry signal comes through, the plexi that's in here hits a reverb and goes out into the purple wind and that's just you know, a hundred percent wet signal of reverb that's coming through and hitting there now what i've done here with this analog echo is it's on the second path and as i said i put a return block in here that is not actually sending any signal through what happens is when i turn on the analog echo the return turns off and so that then allows the amp that you see right here to send its signal through to the delay. So now I have delay and reverb separated on the path and uh, you're good to go. When I turn the analog echo off, the send comes back in, killing the signal and I'm left with just straight up reverb. So kind of a long winded explanation, but it's pretty straightforward. The key is to do a send and send that to the front of your amp and then put another amp in after that to take your guitar signal and then mix in your you know, post amp effects that you like from there. Simple, quick, uh, easy video. Hope it works for you.